Hello internet. Hello internet. This week I got to go to a, a real music studio for the first time to record some drums for a friend and here's how that went. And now it's going. So does everything sound the way you want it to? Like, is there anything you want me to change? Oh, hell no. Hey guys, so uh, today I actually realized that I have a bunch of chicken in the fridge. It's gonna go bad soon if I don't make it. So I figured I'd show you guys how I make chicken. So I, I do live in a dorm. I'd have to go downstairs to a kitchen or something if I wanted to really make this. I don't know about most people, but I, I like to not leave my room as much as possible. I'm gonna make this with my, my panini grill. So other than the chicken, it looks like we're pretty much just using some uh, salt, olive oil, parsley flakes, and chopped onions. Now, since I don't actually have a meat tenderizer, I, uh, I take more of a how-to basic approach to flattening out this chicken. You're just going to want to put it down on whatever you're cooking on and uh, just kind of grab it and uh, just like using your fist, just kind of flattening it out. Oh, it sounds gross. And then what you want to do is you want to grab your olive oil and just like put a little bit, a little bit on there. You want to grab your spoon and you just want to really rub it into that one side. Actually, I'm going to grab those chopped onions and just kind of spread them out in there. I know that does look weird, but it does come out good. All right, then you, uh, you want to kind of repeat that whole process for everything, right? Okay, so now that now that your meat's all flat and seasoned, you want to go over to your grill and put it on there and make a nice sizzle sound. Now that it's cooking, we'll just leave it on a timer for like five minutes and uh, take it out and see what we got. Oh yeah, look at that. So we'll just grab it, put it onto a plate over here, and uh, that's how you make chicken while not leaving your room, and uh, I'm going to go make three more of these now. Okay, so now I'm waiting for the second one to cook, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over halfway through its cooking, because that's what, I mean, the last one was kind of undercooked on one side. I've been trying to do this whole, like, eating healthier thing. I don't know if it's working or not. And, uh, that's that. Now I have to clean up. So now all the dishes are done. Everything's put away. I think I'll call it a night. Hello again. Uh, I'd say good morning. But, uh, it is in fact 5 p.m. So, uh, you know, I just had class and stuff today. Now I'm off to go see my girlfriend at her work. She works at a community center. Wednesday nights I go, she works late, so I have, uh, I go and have supper with her. So that should be, uh, should be nice. I'm never sure how to feel about the weather we're having right now. It's like half spring, half winter. It's kind of gross. <laughs> yeah, so look like I have a giant. <laughs> Things I do for you. The things I do for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one was the worst one. You can get down with a free yoga class followed by a straight up chat with relationship and health experts on how to break up with the bad things in your life and let in the good. Why do I feel like this is a little bit geared towards me? A little bit? Something about the color. I mean, women also have the worst um, participation in sports compared to men. Like, in, on in Ontario, men are about, 40% of men are active in sports and only 15% of women are. Really? According to a statistic. And that doesn't define what sport is. So which of these are most likely to get you? Is it the free snack station? The free yoga class or the free juice bar? Or the nice color? Snacks and the juice, man. So I'm out here pretty late at night. Uh, going home 
I'm hanging out with Caitlin, and I, I, I've just come to realize just how, you know, dependent on technology I am and people are today. Like, I, I'm going to the bus stop and I'm trying to check my, uh, trying to check what time the bus comes at. And my phone's been dead all night, and I, I left the charger, left the charger at home. And I, I keep checking my phone to see what time it is, or, uh, when the bus comes, and I have no idea. All right, so with, uh, with all that being said, it's getting pretty late, and it's the last day of the week before I, I upload, so I'm gonna go home, edit this, hopefully get it uploaded, and uh, see you next week.